Hi guys, Deb Acker here back with another video. And the title of today's video is why you're alone and what to do about it. For those of you guys who are new to my work, I'm an intuitive coach and I work mainly with women to help them to heal their past, heal their childhood patterns, specifically around abandonment and the abandonment that can show up when we have physically and or emotionally unavailable parents, right? And what I want to talk about today is first and foremost, uh, why we, a lot of times, if you have that as a setting for, you know, as kind of like the background for, you know, your upbringing, why a lot of times you end up creating scenarios where you're alone and or you feel alone. And the biggest reason for this in childhood is that so many times um, we made the decision that we couldn't count on anyone else, right? So like, say for instance, you know, your parents got divorced and you were waiting, I always use this example, but you know, you're waiting for your dad and your dad didn't show up, right? You know, you made the decision, you couldn't count on anyone and it was easier and less painful to be alone than to actually you know, have to rely or count on someone, right? So notice if that's true for you, right? Again, it could be the same thing if you had a parent that suffered from addiction, um, same thing if a parent passed away, you know, you might've made a decision you were all alone and that you didn't have anyone. So again, it would have been subconscious, but just notice if that feels true for you. And then from there, right, how do we begin to change this, right? How do we begin to shift this? And First and foremost, one of the biggest uh, things to notice is how now is this supporting you? How now is this serving you, right? So it might be serving you now because you're, uh, again, you know, if you're always alone, right, you get to do it your way, right? And with that, you know, you never get hurt if you're alone, right? If you're by yourself and you're, um, you're alone, you actually, you never get hurt. So again, notice if that feels true for you in some way. Now, how do you begin to shift this? Well, as I always talk about in these videos, there's two ways to begin to shift this, the physical way and the emotional way, and really the spiritual way. So we could, we could divide this into three ways. So first and foremost, what are the ways, you know, in the physical world that you would feel less alone? So maybe that's contacting a friend or a family member, right, to connect with them. Um, maybe that's getting out in nature. That's actually more um, around the spiritual piece, right? Because, you know, when we go out in nature, we can feel a lot of times that there's something bigger, right? That there's something bigger. You know, we can connect with nature. We connect with uh, trees. We connect with what's around us. And we can feel, okay, you know, there's something bigger than us at work right? So noticing if that feels true for you and if that's something that supports you. And then emotionally too, and I know I say this a lot in my videos, but starting to cultivate a practice of feeling your feelings if you're not already doing so, right? So having access to that loneliness and being able to feel it as much as you can, right? Which starts with a practice and noticing when you go to feel that loneliness, what comes up for you? Right? So if you're struggling to feel the loneliness, even for like 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes, what comes up for you, right? And what do you do with it? Do you go into your body? Because a lot of times when we're struggling to feel our feelings, one of the coping mechanisms we used is we go into our body to sort of hide from our feelings, right? So notice what you do if you go into your body, if you go actually away from your body, right? And you try to avoid it altogether. Notice if you try to escape from it and just starting to become aware of that. And then again, starting to cultivate the practice of, okay, I'm gonna, even if it's like 30 seconds, just I'm gonna feel this loneliness. And or just asking yourself, if I feel this right now, what am I scared of? And that can be a great place to start as well. So that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're enjoying this series, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you're looking to dive deeper into this work and really healing your childhood patterns, right? Healing your abandonment and the abandonment that can show up when we have physically and or emotionally unavailable parents, you can head to my website at deveracker.com. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you soon.